Here I am in NetBeans IDE 11.1. .1. I have set up a Derby database. I have some colleagues in here that I can view and edit directly in NetBeans. I'm going to work with that data deployed to Payara. So on Payara I've set up my resources, meaning that I have a JDBC resource for my demo database and its properties are that it's connected to a connection pool which I've also set up on Payara and here are its properties so you can see the connection pool is connected to that database that I have over there, Derby database and I use the very cool nice looking management console that Payara provides to create that JDBC demo resource as well as the connection pool and here you can see the connection pool with all of its properties in here also I can ping to see that everything works and that's great the fact that I even knew that all of that was there for Payara was that I'm able to right click inside NetBeans and then say view domain admin console which is what pops up the management console that I just showed. Everything you can configure in Payara you can configure in here in the admin console accessible directly from NetBeans. Back in NetBeans I'm going to create a Maven application. Go to Maven application. Hello Payara and I'll click next and I'm going to set this to Payara and I want to use Java E8 and here we have the application now I'm going to be using JDK8 you can see we have Java E8 set here on compile I want to choose JDK8 say OK or I could use something different, but I'm running Payara itself on JDK8, so it makes sense that I'm using JDK8 for my code too. Well, the next step is let's take a look at the Palm. So this has all been created for me, and I have a nice graph that shows me how everything relates to each other. I have the starting point of a REST endpoint there. I will set up some source code and a configuration set up there and a resource so very simple starting point but now what I want to do is I actually want to make use of that database so I'm going to go here say rest of web services from database and that it is this and we're going to add that and there's all kinds of different options we can specify and we're going to say finish now what is created is a JPA entity class and we also have in addition to that on top of that our stateless bean with all the CRUD functionality find, remove and so on find all is the default method that will be called when we run this now final step take a look in the persistent xml and connect everything up so we have a small starting point here and here we're going to specify that the transaction type should be jta and here we're going to say that our JTA data source is named JDBC slash demo so that is the name of our JDBC resource this is all that we need to do and so now we are going to run the application We take a look at what Payara is doing. We look 
open the browser and deployment succeeded. But now we go back inside NetBeans and there's some very useful functionality right here. So here are the REST for endpoints. And we can run them directly from inside NetBeans. So let's see how much data is in there. Four. And more interesting, let's see about the find all. And we get directly to that endpoint and there we see our data. So here you see an end-to-end -end scenario where we're using Payara, we're using JPA, we're using REST, and what's tying it all together is Apache NetBeans 11.1 with its support out of the box for Java EE8.